How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the Zeko Football Channel. Fear not, your eyes do not deceive you. Wolverhampton Wanderers have made a signing. There's two days left of the window, but it's better late than never. Wolves are set to announce the signing of Santiago Bueno from Girona. Today we're going to be diving into how I believe he could help Wolverhampton Wanderers in their season going forwards. If you are new to the channel, please make sure that you subscribe, you like the video and turn on those notifications. And now let's discuss how Santiago Bueno improves Wolverhampton Wanderers. Finally, finally, Wolverhampton Wanderers have finally added a player to their ranks. They have chosen Santiago Bueno from Girona as their new player. A centre-back, he's Uruguayan, he's six foot two, and he's got quite a bit about him. And today, we're going to be delving into what he can actually offer this Wolverhampton Wanderers side. As you can see, we've got them in the same setup that they had against Everton. However, he's taking the position of one Craig Dawson. Now, there are a couple of reasons for this. Number one, Craig Dawson is 33 years old he's not a spring chicken in fact he's not even a summer chicken he's getting towards the end of his chicken like days and really when we're talking about Craig Dawson yes he's very very good and yes he marshals this Wolves back line very very well however there are going to be some moments where he's going to pick up an injury or even perhaps he's going to need to be rested especially during that very congested Christmas period they've gotten rid of Connor Cody they've gotten rid of Nathan Collins and so they needed someone else they needed someone to come into this back line and they've chosen Santiago Bueno to be that next player what can he do well he's very good at progressing the ball he actually averages 4.34 passes through the lines per 90 that puts him in the 79th percentile in Europe's top five leagues against center backs of course players in his position he's 24 years old and that means he's got time to grow he actually came through Barca's La Masia Academy and then moved to Girona later on after a couple of loan spells he averages 0.85 progressive carries per 90 which might not seem like a lot and it's not but for a center back that's not actually too bad that actually puts him in the 74th percentile in Europe's top five leagues against other centre-backs. And of course, he's not bad in the tackle either. He averages 1.74 tackles per 90, which puts him in the 69th percentile. And all of these stats are from someone who has played 120 matches for Hirana and he's recently just been called up to the Uruguayan national team, getting two caps to his name. So he's on a road to going places. He's starting to get there. And I believe that he could be making that transition to the Premier League at the right moment. Wolves are not going to be a completely possession-based side. They're going to be under the cosh at some points. And that means that his height, his presence, his physical domineering capabilities is going to be crucial. He's going to need to win aerial duels, and I think he can do that. His stats might not necessarily back that up right now. However, I do believe that in a setup that will suit him, I think he's going to be absolutely fine. And let's not forget, he's a ball-playing centre-back. He can play the passes through the midfield to be able to fire the likes of Joao Gomez and the likes of Lamina. And at the same time, when I tell you that he can also play as a right-back, or he has played as a right-back, that's also something that is extremely useful. He's flexible. He has the ability to really transition into different positions, and then Wolves can go on from there. Wolves have actually beaten the likes of Nottingham Forest and Everton to his signature, which means that he had Premier League interest prior to Wolves' acquisition of him and all of this means that number one he's a very highly sought after centre back he needs to get extra game time and he's looking to for a move into the Premier League and Wolverhampton Wanderers is his destination or his preferred destination this is very good and very positive for Wolves I think he could work very well with Max Kilman. I think he could replace Craig Dawson whenever he needs to he's right footed which means that he's going to be working fine along this right hand side next to Nelson Semedo and I think he can do an absolutely fine and stellar job but it's not just playing as a standard centre back that I think he could do a solid job for Wolves he could also open up tactical flexibility for the way that Wolves could go forwards something like this now as you can see we have changed Wolves' formation and changed it to a back three Craig Dawson is back in the side I know a lot of Wolves fans like him they think he's one of the best centre backs at the club I mean there aren't too many anymore but you know what I mean Max Kilman obviously out on this left hand side his preferred left foot means that he can get those passes over to 
Bueno and then play those crossfield passes if he ever needs to. I do think he's got that in his locker. So before you, you're thinking that he can't do that, I do think he's got that ability in him. Playing passes over the top to Semedo and then Semedo can bomb down the wing. But at the same time, Santiago Bueno can move over to this right-hand side. Totti is very hit and miss, I think, at times. He's got a lot of promise about him. But I think someone with a little bit more assuring nature, someone with a little bit more security at the back, I think would be absolutely fine. Totti can obviously come into this back line as well in place of perhaps even a Dawson or I'm sure there are some ways that it can be moved around but because he's so comfortable at right back Bueno can then cover the runs that Semedo might miss by bombing forwards and the same can be said for the other formation if Neto drives into the heart of the midfield or goes towards the ball. Semedo might want to go on the overlap. Drago Gomez might be holding the midfield line, but that means that this area here is very, very susceptible to some kind of a counter-attack. And this is where I think Bueno's flexibility in position is something that he could really help improve this Wolverhampton Wanderers side. The ability to be able to play in multiple positions allows him to just knock into this extra right-back area. It means he can cover the space very, very well, or at the very least halt the attack until the likes of Semedo can come down and help out his teammates. It's this kind of tactical flexibility that I think is needed in a side like Wolves, especially when they're dealing with so many different high-pressure situations. Someone who has the ability to just calm things down, change position without a problem and be just assured in the way that they're going to go about their game now if we go back to that back three i think this is something that wolves could look to do against some of the larger teams we know when gary o'neill played with his bournemouth side he did switch them between a back three and a back four and that was to tactically adapt to the way their opponent was going to work here we've got kilman dawson and Santiago Bueno and this allows the two wing backs who were not necessarily defensive wing backs if we were completely honest they like to go forwards they like to attack they like to create and this gives them the license to be able to go forwards because of the extra center backs you've got here Lamina can sit in front and that allows Juan Gomez to then go forwards and then you've got Mateus Cunha who can pick up the ball and then drive we saw him drive brilliantly with the ball against Manchester United and that allows Fabio Silva and Pedro Neto to get into more attacking central areas. Pedro Neto, I think, is probably the best finisher in this Wolves side at the moment. And then you've got the creation from Bueno and from Nelson Semedo. It just seems like a, a good fit. Tactical flexibility. He's got good physicality about him. He can progress the ball forwards into the midfield and then throughout the wide areas. He can play out on the right-hand side. And all of this comes together, and I think he could be a stellar, stellar option for Wolverhampton Wanderers and absolutely improve them in the season going forwards. But what I want to know is what you think. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below on Santiago Bueno and how you're feeling about Wolves' new acquisition. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something new and I hope to see you in the next one. But until then, take care.